All right, so today we're going to be working on a clean tone. Obviously, I'm not very known for my clean tones. Usually doing heavy, like, metal rhythm tones or metal chord tones, things of that sort, but I wanted to kind of show off the versatility of this guitar. So this is my GOC Illumina Plus. Um, honestly, love this guitar, that finish. Hopefully it's coming out in the camera there, but the finish is insane on this. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to do a clean tone with it. I'm going to be using Archetype Gojira X from Neural DSP. So as you see on the screen, we start out with just a metal tone, right? So we've got a metal tone starting out here, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and switch over to the first amp and then see how this sounds. So it's still pretty distorted, right? So we're not getting really anything different here so far. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and unlink the cabs. I actually don't really care for the cab that they kind of pair with that clean one, so cab's still a little bit too much. All right, that's got a little bit of a darker tone to it for me. It's not as bright. But now we need to mess with some of the stuff here. So uh, really quick before I dive into that, I'm gonna show you I have nothing going on on this pedal section here. And there is no compressor in this plugin, so I don't have a compressor going on in here either. So we'll go ahead and turn off all of these pedals as well. Go back to the amp section. First thing we need to do is kind of bring that gain down. So here's what it sounds like now. So pretty high gain. I'm gonna crank that way, way down. And we're gonna switch to the neck pickup actually, clean it up a little bit more. Add some good bass to that. First thing I always do for a clean tone because I love, love, love bright tones, I'm gonna switch the bright switch on. So you immediately hear the difference there. All right, bass, I leave where it's at, actually. And same with the mids. Trebles, I bring down a little bit because that bright switch added quite a bit. We've got our bass there. If we go to the cab section, honestly, I left this alone. I actually liked the microphone choice, even though it's a 57. Uh, usually I wouldn't choose a 57 for a clean tone, but I actually ended up really liking that the way it is. I'm gonna pull this gate down a little bit. That's kind of high and aggressive for a clean tone. All right, EQ, this is where some of the action happens. So, I do turn on the high pass filter. I usually go to about 65. Now the reason I do this is that usually I would be recording with this and I wanna cut out a lot of that low end information so that it's not there when I go to master the song and get some more volume out of it. So I go to about 65 on a clean tone. On a high gain like rhythm tone, I would probably crank that up closer to 80 to 90 hertz just to really cut out that lower end. Same thing goes for the low pass filter. I'm gonna crank that down to about 12 and you're not gonna notice a huge difference here, if at all. Not a ton of difference there, right? So, uh, the 16 kilohertz, I don't bother with very much. I do crank up the eight a little bit though, so we'll hear what that sounds like. And I'm gonna turn it off again. So I'm gonna flip this on and off with each little move that I make. Um, contrary to what I would usually do on a like a high gain rhythm tone, I'm actually gonna up the four kilohertz a little bit here, and you'll see why. Let's go ahead and really exacerbate that sound so you can hear. See, it actually really adds a really nice brightness to it. I'm gonna crank that back down. We don't need that much going on. All right, so about two. Two, let's go ahead and see what that sounds like at the two kilohertz. This is without it. Let's crank that up so we get, ooh, it's kind of shrill. Don't know if I care for that. Let's do it a little bit though. Excuse my sloppy playing there. Let's crank it up a little bit more. All right, and then the one kilohertz, I don't tend to touch this much on a clean tone, but let's really boost it so you can see what it's doing. Definitely gives it that nasally effect. Don't care for that. It's really dipping into the mids there, it sounds like to me. Let's go ahead and pull some out and see what it sounds like. Yeah, I think actually adding a little bit, let's do like 
just under decibel. It does add a little bit of sparkle there, but you know what? I'm actually gonna pull it down because we're gonna add sparkle in a different way in just a second. So let's go ahead and reset that to zero. Uh, the 500 kilohertz, or 500 hertz, I should say, I do leave alone. I leave the 65 and the 125 alone, but I do boost the 250, and so you'll hear why in a second. So, really accentuates that bottom end there a little bit, and that's in the bottom end of the tone that I would usually have a multiband compressor on for a high gain rhythm tone, just to really calm. The Sorry if that sounds ridiculous through headphones, uh, but yeah, usually I would be attenuating that or compressing it to make sure it doesn't overwhelm the mix, but in a clean tone, it just adds a lot of body to it. All right, and just for the hell of it, let's go ahead and boost the 125 and see what that sounds like. Yeah, see, that's way too much bottom end for me, so I'm gonna leave that one alone. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the uh, this EQ section. I'm gonna turn it off and then back on again so you can see what it sounds like. Now off. Back on again. So which one do you guys like more so far? I like it with the EQ on. I didn't make very big moves to be honest with you. We only touched a few of the bands on here, but so far I like it more with the EQ on. If you like the tone without it, let me know in the comments here. All right, last piece of the puzzle here is the effects. Um, so this, I don't change a ton because to be honest with you, I don't really understand a whole lot of what's going on with delay and reverb. Again, the most I use them for is usually when I'm trying to write a lead riff and I wanna have a wet signal instead of a super dry distorted signal. So let's go ahead and start out with the delay here. So just turning it on, this is what we get. And right off the bat, that is too much of the feedback for me. So let's go ahead and crank that way down. I think a little bit less even. Um, okay, perfect. So now I do wanna brighten up that feedback a little bit. So I'm gonna crank that up and see what it sounds like. Gives it a little bit more like jangle and sparkle to it rather than if I flip that knob the other way, it's going to really accentuate the bass in the uh, root notes. And we already have enough of that in the tone itself. Uh, the tape saturation and tape modulation, they're kind of hard to hear in this plugin in my opinion, and I'm wearing headphones, but let's go ahead and crank them up. So this is without the tape saturation. Let's go ahead and crank it up to max. I guess you can kind of hear it kind of really puts a blanket over the tone there. So it's a little bit too much going on. I don't know, actually, I kind of like that a lot. Let's bring it down a little bit though. All right, let's go ahead and crank the tape modulation all the way up so you guys can hear that. So again, really pleasant sound, but let's go ahead and pull it back a little bit. Cool, so that's with the delay engaged. Let's go ahead and turn it off and hear the bare tone again. I think that sounds pretty good. I don't know about y'all, but again, I don't know a ton about delays, but I know what sounds good to my ears and that sounds pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the last section here. We've got the reverb pedal. We're gonna crank that on. Um, haven't changed anything on it, but let's go ahead and take a listen. All right, and then again, without it. So it's subtle difference right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank the mix up a little bit. A little bit too much. It's kind of enveloping it now, so. Let's see if I can still hear it with the finger picking.
Love that. Let's go ahead and take the shimmer. See if we can hear that. Oh, you can hear the tail of it there for sure. I don't know if I like that for this kind of tone though. I don't know if I'm feeling the shimmer there. It reminds me of Rebea Massad's like Icicles um, preset that he made for the Quad Cortex. Great for certain applications. I just don't think I, I don't think I vibe with it here. All right, let's see if we can get rid of a little bit of the bottom end here. Not too much. Let's crank it and see what happens. Yeah, I like it a little bit lower. All right, we have this tone made again at the amp section, very basic here. Um, so this is the clean amp with the second cab. We have the gain turned down. We've got the bass in the middle, mid in the middle, treble a little bit over mid. I left the output alone here and up in the global output section, but I did turn the gate down. The gate is still on, but it's just turned way down. Cab section itself, I left alone, didn't touch that. So all of the magic here came from the EQ section, and you see the moves that we made here. And then we do have the delay and reverb dialed in as well. So let's go ahead and play through a quick riff so we can hear what it sounds like. So that's a pretty solid clean tone in my opinion. This is more of a like an ambient and vibey kind of tone. It's not something that I would put in too many of the different songs that I'm writing right now. This is a really cool one to get lost in. Um, you can just sit here jamming with the different chords and progressions that you like to play most. Obviously I stuck to a certain chord progression that whole time. But yeah, this is what I decided to do with my day off today is create a clean tone with the Neural DSP Archetype Gojira. So, I've got a couple other Guitar Tone of the Week videos that are up as actually YouTube Shorts, and I'll be linking those above for y'all. So be sure to check those out, and if you like this more like full length where I walk you through how I'm creating this Guitar Tone, let me know and I'll create some more. Peace, y'all.